West Central Trojan. Zero, Emily Thunder. Avalon, J.C. Allen. Number 12, H. Moon. Number 20, Kyla Holland. Now for the starters on the home team from the scoreboard, your pioneer, the Lady Panthers. Number 32, Chloe Weaver. Number 24, Brooklyn Dillman. Number 20, Kindlin R. Number 15, Avery Alvey. And number 10, Malia McIntyre. Coach by Mr. David McWhorter.
Ladies and gentlemen, tonight is a special night. It is senior night here at Pioneer High School. We are graced by two people that are seniors on our team. Glad to have them here with the parents. First up, Gracie Hopper. Gracie is escorted by our mom, Lacey Grandstaff. She plans to attend the Indiana University of Kokomo and major in secondary education of English. She's played basketball for six years and has been part of the high school basketball team for four years. Ladies and gentlemen, Gracie Hopper. And our second senior on the team, Casey Webb. Casey's escorted by her mom, Jessica Webb. She plans to attend Ball State University and major in kinesiology. She's played basketball for six years and is part of the high school basketball team for two years. She's also played softball for 12 years and has been a part of the high school softball team for four years. Ladies and gentlemen, Casey Webb. <laughs> One last round of applause for our seniors here at Pioneer and all the time that happens. Great day to see you. Thank you. 
There are your starters, Mellon, Allen, Bishop, Sharp, Smith for West Central, Stricker, Webb, Hopper, McKaig, and Hathaway. It's going to be Hathaway and Smith for the tip as we are getting underway. Stricker gets it, and the Panthers have the ball first. Passes it over to McKaig. Oh, man defense here looks like by the West Central Trojans and McKaig with the jumper in the lane gets the Panthers on the board first. Good defense there by Webb or uh, by Gracie Hopper and she's going to force the jump ball. It will stay with West Central. The arrow going back to Pioneer. Three-pointer on the way. That one rims out for Bishop. The rebound to the Panthers. McKaig brings it across. It's it in the corner. Back up top to Webb. Stricker kicks it over. Hopper, 18-footer, is off the mark. Rebound to the Panther or to the Trojans. Quickly up ahead. Good job there by Hopper. Kicks it back out up top. That shot off the mark. Gracie Hopper with the rebound for Pioneer. Stricker brings it across the timeline. Sharp on Stricker. Resets it. Crossover. Stricker 10-footer from the left wing is good. 4-0 start here for the Panthers. Allen gets it inside to Bishop. Bishop kicks it back out to Allen. Allen, oh, almost on the line. Stricker, though, gets the steal. Stricker one-on-one, -on -one, pulls up, can't get the five-footer to go. Good defense that time by Mellon. Quickly up ahead, and Hopper gets the turnover. So a couple steals there, turnovers for West Central. Stricker, and she's going to get fouled by Bishop, I believe. No, 11, that's going to be Allen. Team's first. Chime in anytime you want to there, Hunter. I'm just learning for today. <laughs> and jump ball there on the inbounds. It will stay with the Panthers. Checking in for West Central is number 24, Sydney Mellon. goes up with the shot and misses. Five seven guard is Sydney Mellon. Five seven sophomore. So the uh, Trojans back on the offensive end there, over the head of Stricker to Mellon. Mellon drives baseline, kicks it back out, and the runner is good for Bishop. And West Central gets their first points of the evening. Four to two Pioneer with 5.23 to go here in this first quarter. 
And a turnover as Stricker tried to find someone there in the middle. I don't know who because there was anybody there. Hopper gets it over to Webb. And almost another turnover there, but on the line was Smith. So the ball stays in the Panthers' possession. A little one, two, two full court pressure here by West Central. The Panthers are able to break the press. McKaig goes baseline. Nice job there by Mia McKaig. She puts it in for two. She has four. It's a 6 2 lead now for the Panthers. 10-footer is off the mark for Bishop. Another rebound for Hopper. She has uh, got a couple steals and a couple rebounds already here for the Panthers early in this first quarter. Stricker was sharp on her. Kicks it over. Webb over to McKaig. McKaig has the hot hand. Almost uh, ties it up. McKaig able to uh, wrestle it away, but unfortunately Hathaway not able to save it before it goes out of bounds. So a turnover, number two. Madison DeMoss coming in for West Central. Number 14, a six foot freshman. They're gonna try, oh, she, uh, they must have had a play set up there for her to kick that weak side, but nobody home. And a turnover for the Trojans. Number four already here in uh, about half a quarter. Turnover-wise for West Central. Stricker gets it up ahead to Hathaway. Back over to Stricker. It's like the, no, well, I was going to say a 2-3 zone, but now it looks like they're still in man. Stricker kicks it out to McKaig. Shot off the mark. Rebound to Mellon. Quickly up ahead to Sydney Mellon. Trying to find the DeMoss inside. And we're going to have a jump ball. It will stay with West Central on the jump. Checking in for Pioneer. Number 22, Lois Lair coming in for Casey Webb. Checking in is number three, Katie Scholes. Checking in for the Trojans. Layer knocks it out of bounds on the inbounds play. Scholes, a 5'7 freshman. 3.23 to go here in the first period. Pioneer six, West Central two. Defense there by Lois Lair. Cutting off the drive from Mellon. Mellon takes the shot off the mark, and uh, McKaig rips that rebound down. Stricker kicks it out. Hopper, 15-footer from the baseline. No good. Rebound to DeMoss. They get it inside to DeMoss. And she's going to go up for the shot, and the foul is going to be coming on Kenzie Hathaway. Her first, team's first. Six foot freshman at the free throw line. First attempt for DeMoss is good. Smith and Allen back into the game for the Trojans. One more free throw coming up here for DeMoss. That one off the iron, no good. Rebound Hathaway, kicks it over to Stricker. Stricker out, McKaig, three-pointer is long. 
Rebound to Allen. Panthers in their 2-3 zone. Two minutes to go, 6-3, Pioneer with the lead. Stricker pokes that one away. Turnover number five, kicks it up ahead, Layer, and she's going to go to the free throw line, and she's going to get fouled on the shot attempt, Lois Layer. And that foul will be on Sydney Mellon, her first, team's second. The freshman, Lois Lair, at the free throw line here for the Panthers. Off the front iron on the first. Brooklyn Mellon checking back in for West Central. Coming in for Pioneer is Julia McGrew. Second free throw is good for Lois Lair. 7-3 now in favor of the Panthers. That one's tipped away by McKaig. Stricker comes up with that loose ball. Stricker runner in the lane. Shot no good, but she's going to go to the free throw line as she is fouled on the shot. Foul is going to be on Brooklyn Mellon, her first, team's third. That will send McKenna Stricker to the free throw line, shooting two. Stricker good on the first. Sharp and Bishop back in for the Trojans. Stricker one more free throw coming here. And she converts both of those. <coughs> Minute 30 to go here in this first period. Nine to three. That one's poked out of bounds, and they're going to say last touched by West Central going off of Smith. Turnover number seven here for the Trojans. And they're going to pick up full court. Able to get it in a Stricker. She gets it over to Lois Lair. Lair kicks it up ahead to Hathaway. Shot off the mark. The rebound to Sharp kicks it up ahead. Good job there by Lois Lair getting back on defense. And it's poked away by Hathaway, but she's going to get called for the foul. That's going to be number two on Kinsey. So she has both of the fouls for the Panthers, two team fouls, and they're both on Hathaway. That will bring Casey Webb off of the bench. Smith will trigger it here under her basket for the Trojans. Three-pointer from the right wing is in and out that time for Allen. Rebound is last touched by West Central. Panthers will have the ball here with a minute 12 to go in the quarter. West Central will pick up. They're in a 1-2-2 man press maybe. Okay, gets it in to Lair. Lair gets it up ahead to McGrew. McGrew. McGrew for two. Nice job there by Julia McGrew taking that in strong, breaking that pressure by the West Central Trojans. Eight-point advantage now. Three-pointer on the way. No good. Rebound and last touch by West Central. So another missed opportunity here for the Trojans. Panthers handling the pressure. McKay gets it down the baseline. She keeps her dribble. Kicks it out. McGrew, 15-footer. No good. Rebound Stricker. Stricker goes up and rebound again. Stricker, no good. Rebound again, and she's going to get called for over the back. Missed that shot opportunity there on the second one, and the third time she was over the back. Her first team's third. Sydney Mellon going to check back in here for Allen. Yeah. 
Rebound to McKeg. And McKeg pulls up from the top of the key for three. That was a nice shot there. At the buzzer, shot is no good. End of one, Pioneer 14, West Central 3. We'll take a break and come back with second quarter action here in just a moment from the start cage. Start quarter number two, Pioneer has the ball to start us off, leading 14 to 3. Nice ball movement out to McKeg. Three-pointer off the back oh. iron, no good. Rebound to the Trojans. Right wing shot is off the mark, and it's going to be out. Of, nope, it's going to be saved to Stricker. She throws it way too far ahead. Good idea, but this it wasn't there, and the turnover gets the ball back over to West Central. Big first quarter there. Mia McKeg had seven points for the Panthers. Stricker had four, McGrew had two, and Lair had one. Bishop had two, and DeMoss had one. And a two-pointer is good there for Sharp. Makes it a nine-point Panther lead. McKaig pulls up short on the three-pointer. Rebound Bishop. West Central running. And we're going to have a bucket and a foul as Bishop makes the bucket. Foul coming here on Pioneer. It's going to be on Mia McKeg, her first, team's first here of the quarter. Free throw off the back iron, no good for Bishop. <coughs> Got a foul coming here on Sharp. It'll be the first on Sharp, team's first here of this quarter. McKaig gets into the paint and gets it to go. Mia McKaig is feeling it. She had an awesome night on Wednesday, and there is a steal by Layer. Oh, back the other way to West Central, and there's a steal back to Panthers. Stricker pulls up from 15. Her shot is short. Need to hold that up. There was uh, four uh, West Central Trojans down there. Just wait for your teammates to get down. Stricker loses it. And that's going to be a kick as it hit the foot of Julia McGrew. Coming back in is Schultz for West Central. And in for Pioneer is Gracie Hopper. And that's going to be another turnover here as Hopper couldn't get it over to Stricker and it hits the end line. Coming in for West Central is Madison DeMoss, and she's going to give uh, Annika Smith a break. Rebound, and the putback is good. That is Bishop, she's got six. The lead is six for the Panthers, 15 to nine, five and a half to go here in this first half. Layer, and that's gonna hit the stanchion at the top, so that will be West Central ball. Annika Smith going to come back in for Bishop. A lot of substitutions here for West Central. They're not afraid to uh, run girls in and out, keep from fresh legs here on the floor. Something Pioneer doesn't have the luxury 
they're well for having. Yeah, they they go about seven, and that's about it. So they don't uh, they don't have that luxury. Shot off the back iron. Stricker gets the rebound. Keg pulls up from three. <laughs> Mia McKeg is feeling it tonight. She has 12 already, 18-9, and we got 4.45 to go here in this first half. Rebound by Casey Webb. Stricker, count it! going to be on DeMoss, her first, team's second. That'll put Stricker at the line, shooting one. No good on that. Rebound, and we're going to have a foul, I think, on West Central. I think that's going to be on Sydney Mellon. No, it's going to be on number 15, Sharp, and that'll be her second. Third foul here on West Central in this quarter. Back in is Allen. So Stricker did not convert on the free throw, but the Panthers are going to have the ball out of bounds under their basket. Nice cut, layer, can't get it to go. Rebound to the Trojans. Smith has it for West Central. Calling for an overload. They get it inside. That shot is off the mark for Smith and the rebound to Gracie Hopper. Hopper cleaning up the boards here tonight for the Panthers. Good ball movement there. And Coach Barry doesn't like uh, where everybody was on that play. He's going to call a quick timeout here and save that possession. It's going to be a 30. Here coming out of the timeout by Coach Barry. Stricker gets it in, uh, almost a steal there by West Central. Stricker spins, kicks it out to McKeg. McKeg kicks it up, 15-footer from Webb. No good, another rebound for Hopper. Gracie Hopper with the rebound put back for the Panthers. And Lois Lair almost gets the steal, and she goes out of bounds, so it will stay West Central ball. Coming back in here for the Trojans is number 15, Mara Sharp. So West Central had gotten that lead back down to six, but Pioneer has uh, ballooned it up to the largest that they've had it in uh, – the whole game and at 14 now here with 3.20 to go in this first half. And that's going to be out of bounds. Last touch by West Central. Pioneer will get the ball back here. Opportunity to build on this lead. Sorry, I had that wrong. 22 to 9. A 13 point lead. Did they have it at 23 at one point, or did I just see that wrong? I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell with where we're sitting sometimes. You got the baskets right in the way of the score. Player skips it across. McKeg drives baseline. Let's oh, go. my gosh. Mia McKeg is feeling it tonight. Three-pointer off the mark, no good. Rebound, put back, second chance opportunity. And DeMoss uses her height and puts it in 4-2. Two, two uh, offensive rebound opportunities there for DeMoss. And uh, Coach Barry going to have to burn another timeout here as Lois Lair had got caught. So we'll take a break. It's a 30 or it's a 60, so we'll be right back here. 
from the cage. And just we still moment. got a long way to go here. We still got 220 to go here in this first half, but Pioneer looking really good so far. And Mia McKeg has 14 points here already in this first half, coming off of that 17-point performance. And there is a turnover as the uh, steal by the Trojans. And they're going to track down that offensive rebound there. Stricker can't quite corral it there. Almost got the steal back. That was uh, Madison DeMoss getting that steal for West Central. Six-foot freshman. That one's poked away, and Mia McCaig comes up with the steal as the turnover for West Central. Stricker going to work it around a little bit here. Minute 40 to go. And that's going to be blocked and a foul on Lair after the block. That'll be the first on Lois, only the second team foul here in the quarter. So still a ways off of any kind of bonus activity here. Got Allen coming back in. We got uh, Smith coming back in. Boy. Always have a fresh pair of legs. Coach Mellon, he, uh, he really runs them in and out here, gives them uh, some opportunity and then gets them out and gets a fresh pair of legs in. Three-pointer is off the back iron, no good, and they're going to get McKeg on the push on the rebound. That's going to be the second on Mia, third on the team. And another substitution as uh, Schultz comes back in, and uh, it'll be McGrew coming in for McKeg as she picks up her second. I want to get that third with a minute uh, 16 to go here in the half. Go low. It's a little over shot. Layer able to run that down. That's going to be poked away, and they're going to say, yeah, last touch by West Central. So another turnover forced there by Lois Layer. And they'll put uh, McKeg back in here for Webb. A little offense for defense here for the Panthers. Player able to track that down. Ooh. That was a close one there. McKeg able to track that one down. Stricker thought about a long three there, but decided not to. Drives the paint. Can't get it to go there. Poked away at the last second. I think it kind of threw her shot off just a little bit. Almost a uh, travel there by Allen. And an easy bucket inside there by DeMoss. Just uh, got too deep of uh, position there, and nothing Pioneer could do. And there is a turnover on the Panthers. Shot no good, rebound, and that should be a foul, and it's going to be on Madison DeMoss. That will be her second, team's fourth. So the next one will be bonus for the Panthers here, but it's only 25 seconds to go. Bishop checking back in, also coming back in is Brooklyn Mellon. Panthers maintaining that 11-point uh, lead, have the ball with 25 seconds to go. Stricker can't split the defenders. Turn over, and the point is the bucket is good for Allen. Time the Panthers able to break the press, but the steal again. And that's going to do it as the clock winds down to zero at the half. Pioneer leads 24-15 here at the cage. We'll take a break, come back, get you your halftime stats, and get ready for second half action here in just a moment on RTC TV4. Trailing 24-15, Panthers in front here at the half.
starters minus Webb plus Layer, the normal starters for Pioneer back here on the floor to start the second half. And the long rebound goes to Sharp for West Central. So another opportunity here for the Trojans as they gather up an offensive rebound off of the missed three. Shot in and out. Another rebound here for Hopper. Stricker puts it up ahead to McKaig. McKaig gets around one, kicks it over, and that's going to be kicked out of bounds that time by Allen. So it will be Pioneer's ball here under their basket. Hopper will trigger here on the right baseline for the Panthers. Trying to get it in there to Stricker and not able to uh, connect, and that ball is going to go out of bounds, so a turnover for the Panthers. Like Hathaway might have had a path to get that ball and save it, but not able to uh, track it down before it went out of bounds. Three-pointer off the mark and another rebound by Hopper. And good job there by McKaig as she got trapped in the corner and she throws it out off of a leg of one of the Lady Trojans. So Stricker will trigger it here on the baseline corner area there for Pioneer. Gets it in Hopper and that one's going to be blocked by Allen. Good defensive recovery there by Allen. That was a nice inbounds play there to Hopper but uh, good recovery by Allen. Stricker gets it in the layer to McKaig. McKaig pulls up from 10. And McKaig, two more for McKaig. She's got 15. Lead is back up to 11 here for the Panthers. Stricker pokes it away. And a turnover forced there by the Panthers. Good defense there by Stricker getting into that passing lane. And a jump ball, it will remain Pioneer ball on the jump. They lose the arrow. Stricker over to Hopper, good recovery that time by Smith. And we've got a foul coming here on the Trojans. It's going to be on Allen, her second. It'll be the team's first. I'll put Mia McKaig at the free throw line, shooting two. Smooth on the first for the sophomore. 16 points for McKaig. 17 matching her point total from the other night already. We still have 5.55 to go here in this third period. And McKaig has already matched her uh, outstanding output from Wednesday night's game. Stricker almost gets the tie up there. Three-pointer from the left wing is good for Mellon. And a quick timeout here by Coach Mellon. It is a full timeout, so we'll be right back. All right, here the uh, Trojans call a timeout. Panthers get it in. Good job getting it back over to McKaig. Breaks that press. Poked away there. Good defense by Allen, forcing the turnover. And Allen puts it in for two. So five quick points here by West Central and another turnover as that goes over the head, but back to the Panthers and a bucket at the other end. A good job there getting back. 
And two points there for Hopper. Oh, nice, nice move there by Bishop for two. Stricker to Hopper over to Hathaway. Back into Stricker. A lot of contact there, no call. We've got a foul coming as Hathaway got the loose ball. It's going to be on number two, Brooklyn Mellon, her second, team's second. And it's going to be on the floor, 439 left here in this third period. Pioneer 30, West Central 22. Stricker gets it in. Oh, McKeg puts it in. And one for Mia McKeg. Nineteen for McKeg here in this one. Make it twenty for the sophomore. She puts in the and one. Wow, Mia McKeg. What a uh, what a last couple pair of games here so far for her, and we're not even done yet. And a foul coming. On layer, that will be Lois's second first team foul. Checking back in is going to be DeMoss. She's going to give Callie Bishop a break. 11 point advantage here with 4.14 to go. It'll be West Central's ball here under their basket. Triggering that in will be Sydney Mellon. And Allen, good for three. Stricker up ahead, and a rebound, and they're going to call Hopper on that one. That'll be the first on Hopper. So that three-pointer cuts that lead down to eight, and it's West Central ball off of the foul. Trojans have an opportunity here to cut into that lead even more. Rotating around, they got to make sure they don't lose Allen. Inside to DeMoss, shot off the mark and off of the fingertips of Mia McKeg. Callie Bishop checking back in for West Central. Casey Webb checking back in for Pioneer. Oh, that should be. Wow. Oh. I think Layer had the position there. They're going to call that foul on Lois Layer. Man. Don't say I agree with that one, but uh, that's what they called. That was quite the collision there. I think Layer had the, had the, I mean, you got the opportunity to go for the ball, right? Then uh, Webb gets the steal, so the Panthers get the ball back on the turnover. That one's poked away. Travel, no call. Panthers able, or the uh, Trojans able to get it out. Yes! Hathaway takes the charge. And that'll be the third on Allen. So that will bring Annika Smith back in for Allen. Allen will take a break here with the third foul. Fourth team foul on West Central. There's a turnover and a foul on Stricker on the inbounds play. So you make one good play and then you turn it over and then you make a foul on the other side. Second foul on Stricker, third or fourth team foul now on Pioneer. 
Shot off the mark, but the rebound put back is good. DeMoss for two more. And that lead down to six. Panthers get it across. Another turnover as that one's poked away from Lair. We're going to have a foul coming here on the Panthers. And that's going to be on McKeg. That'll be her third. Team's fifth. So now the West Central Trojans in the bonus. The rest of this quarter at the free throw line is number 23, Annika Smith. And Smith good on the first. Second one, no good. Webb tracks down the rebound. Panthers going to settle it down here a little bit. That pressure getting them a little ragged, so they're going to settle it down, run some offense. Got a lot of contact there, and that's going to be a foul on Bishop. I think that is her first. That will put Stricker at the line shooting two, as that is bonus time now for both teams. Foul number five on West Central. Stricker converts on the first. Second one, no good. Stricker tracks down the rebound, puts it in, and one. It's going to be the third on DeMoss. Stricker at the line to complete the three-point play. Wow. Air ball. Air ball. <laughs> well, she's not shooting free throws quite as good as she did the other night. Hit 13 out of 14 at uh, North Judson. Not uh, faring quite as well here tonight. Speaking of air ball. Yeah. I guess we return the favor, right? An eye for an eye, I guess. <laughs> so the lead back up to eight here for the Panthers. We have a minute 55 to go in this third period. Okay, gets it in. Stricker has it poked away. And a foul on Hathaway will send. West Central to the line to shoot two. Smith, one of two on her first trip here moments ago. Has two more here for the Trojans. Good on the first. And makes them both lead back to six. And we got a foul coming here on Smith. Annika Smith picking up her first foul. We'll send Stricker back to the free throw line. See if she can hit the rim this time. Well, hopefully not hit the rim, but in. Let's get it in this time. Is that the word you were looking for there, Steve? Yeah. It happens to me all the time. This is the first. Good 
Good on the second. One out of two for McKenna. Puts that lead back up to seven. Ten points now for Stricker. McKaig gets the steal. McKaig pulls up for three. Got it! Mia McKaig. The steal and the pull up from three. Julia McGrew will get the foul called her first, sending Smith back to the free throw line. Her third trip to the line here in this quarter. She is three of four so far. Puts in the first. One more here for Smith. Converts on that one. Eight point lead for the Panthers. Stricker gets it over to McKeg. Panthers, minute to go, will reset the offense. Stricker, 4-2. Lead back up to 10, 28 seconds to go. And the bucket is good. Bishop now has 10. And a foul coming here that's going to send. It's going to be the second on Smith, and that will send Stricker back to the free throw line, shooting two more. Good on the first. Nineteen point nine to go. One more free throw here for Stricker. And hits them both. Puts that lead back up to 10 for the Panthers. We wind down this third quarter. And a foul coming. Are they going to get McGrew or Hathaway? It's going to put Bishop at the free throw line. 21, that'll be Kenzie's fourth. Bishop at the line, she is 0 for 1, makes that one. And Webb gonna come in for Hathaway. One more here for the junior, Kaylee Bishop. And gets that one to go as well. Poked out of bounds by West Central. Five seconds to go here in the quarter. Panthers trying to get it inbounds. This full court pressure from West Central. And oh, Webb can't get it to go at the buzzer. That was a long five seconds. At the end of three here at the cage, Panthers lead 44-36. We'll take a break. Come back with fourth quarter action here in just a moment on RTC TV4. All right, welcome back here as we move into quarter number four. Trojans will have the ball to start us off. Panthers leading 44-36 here after three. And getting to the basket is Sharp for two. Cuts that lead to six. Hopper and too far ahead there by Layer. Turnover Panthers. 
Here comes West Central. Pioneer needs to get back. They're not wasting any time. I think this is where you're going to see if these fresh legs from uh, West Central, you know, pay off. They've been pressing Pioneer pretty hard this entire game. Can the Panthers work through another eight minutes of uh, this pressure from West Central? Or will the fresh legs pay off? And there's another bucket. Smith with two more. And you got a foul coming on Bishop, her second. And that's the other thing with as many players as they've got running through here for West Central. Nobody really in too much foul trouble. Liza Allen has three, but nobody else with more than two. So four quick points here for West Central. Has cut that lead in half, a four-point lead, 44-40 to 40 for the Panthers. 6.50 to go here in the ball game. And a foul on the shot. Stricker will go back to the free throw line to shoot two. And they're going to get number 23, Smith. So that will be her third. So she joins uh, Allen with three fouls. Kind of Stricker back to the free throw line here and hits the first. Big, big free throws here for Pioneers. West Central had came out and scored the first four points. And Stricker converts on both of those. So the lead back up to six. As we approach six and a half to go here in the ball game. Three pointer off the mark. Rebound though. Put back is good. Smith, she's got four here in the quarter. And we got a timeout by West Central. And we'll take a break and be back here in just a moment. All right, 6-2 run here by West Central in this fourth quarter. They've got that lead down to four, and the pressure has really been uh, stout. Laird did a nice job there, but when you get in front of people, they're going to be coming from behind you. you got to make sure you're uh, aware of that. You can't just lollygag down the floor once you get in front of a, a defender. So the turnover, second of the quarter here by the Panthers, gives the ball back over here as the Trojans trying to cut into this four-point lead. That one's kicked. And a three-pointer for Sharp. And that cuts the lead to one. Sharp has five and Smith have, has four here. Nine to two in favor of the Trojans here in this quarter. And another turnover and the bucket and West Central has the lead. Six for Smith. Stricker's going to go to the free throw line, and she's going to be fouled by Allen. That'll be Allen's fourth. Team's third. So the Panthers find themselves trailing for the first time here in the ball game with 5.23 to go. Stricker with a pair of free throws here, an opportunity to get the Panthers back out in front. Gets the bounce on the first. Looks like she's going to take that opportunity. Tied at 47. One more free throw here for Stricker. Off the mark on the second. So 47, 47, 520 to go here in the ball game. Three-pointer no good. Rebound and last touched by West Central. So the Panthers will get the ball back. 5-11 to go. Stricker gets it up ahead. Webb is open, can't get it to go. That's going to be last touched by West Central. Open layup there for Casey Webb, not able to put that one in, but the Panthers will retain possession 
as that was last touched by West Central. This Pioneer will trigger it here, 5.02 to go. Stricker under her basket here on the right baseline. Will trigger in for, gets it in to Hopper. Oh, Hopper can't get it to go. Great position there by Hopper. Not able to get it to go. And West Central with an opportunity to regain the lead. Good position there. And the bucket, oh wow, it goes out. And that's gonna be off of McKaig. The Moss had really good position. Skies it kind of uh, really high off the glass and just took a bad hop there. But uh, West Central will retain possession here. They'll inbounds it under their basket. And Smith is gonna go to the free throw line shooting two. As Hopper is going to get called for the foul, her second, team's first. And Smith can't get the first one to go. So we stay tied at 47. We got McGrew coming back in and coming in for the first time is Emily Bunger. as that one is good for Smith. So Bunger checking in for the first time. And that's gonna be a turnover here as they couldn't get the ball in. Stricker goes down hard, but uh, no call. So West Central will have the ball with a one point advantage here with 4.38 to go. Stricker gets a hand on that, but it goes right into Allen's hands. Allen, left wing three, off the back iron, rebound to Sharp. Stricker gets the steal, kicks it up ahead. Okay, gets down in the corner there. And Coach Barry calls a timeout. So Coach Barry has two timeouts left. Full timeout. We'll here right in the back. fourth period, West Central leads by one. It'll be Pioneer Ball out of the timeout. 12 to three, West Central has outscored Pioneer here in this fourth period to take the lead after trailing by eight at the end of the third quarter. They get it into McKeg. Okay, gets it over to Hopper. Hopper doing a nice job not getting that ball tied up. Hopper, and yep, took an extra step there. It's going to be a turnover. Turnover number four on Pioneer here in the quarter. Turnover number 10, number 20 for the game, number 10 for the half. So the Trojans really ratcheting up that defense. They haven't really unratcheted it at all, but they have really turned it up here in the second half. And a jump ball, and that will go to Pioneer. On the jump. So the pressure coming here from the Trojans. And a foul coming here on Scholes, her first, team number four. So next foul by West Central will put Pioneer in the bonus. 3.40 to go here in the ball game. And not able to get that one in. Another turnover, number five of the quarter. Good defense there by West Central. Brooklyn Mellon checking back in here for the Trojans. West Central is going to be heading over to South Newton on Tuesday to take on number four Cast and Lady Comets in their quarterfinal matchup there in sectional 52. 
And uh, Kasten better be ready. This is a really good West Central team here. They're giving uh, the Panthers a lot of fits here on the defensive end. <laughs> that was a nice collision. A lot of contact. <laughs> yeah. A lot of contact. No call. So it's just going to be out of bounds off of West Central, I guess. Pioneer with the ball, 317 to go, trailing by one. She's not letting that stop her, though. So they get it in. Layer. Over to Lois Lair. Oh, shots off to Mark Stricker. Offensive rebound. Put back is good. Stricker puts the Panthers back out in front by one. 49-48 on the offensive rebound. Three-pointer is no good. And uh, McKay gets the rebound. Gets it up ahead. Lois Lair. Lair. Jump ball will go to West Central. What are we calling? Foul on Lair? Oh, my. Okay. That'll be the fourth on Lois Lair. So I give the ball back to West Central. 2.36 to go. Pioneer in front by one. Last touched by, oh, they're going to say the last touch by the Panthers there. That was close. And Hathaway going to check back in here for McGrew. Kenzie has four fouls. Lois Lair has four fouls for Pioneer as well. Only two team fouls on the Panthers. Shot off the mark. Rebound. Lair able to track it down. But the steal. The block, and McCaig gets it. Gets it over to Layer. No call there, so Pioneer just needs to corral this ball here and slow it down. Stricker gets it over to Layer down in the corner to Hopper. Hopper is trapped, and Coach Barry's going to call a timeout. That's a good one there by Coach Barry. 30-second timeout called by the Panthers. We'll keep it here with a minute 49 to go. Panthers will have the ball out of the timeout, leading by one, 49-48 here against the West Central Trojans, trying to pick up a win here at home on senior night. So a minute 49 to go here out of the timeout. Hopper will trigger it here under her basket on the right baseline. Gets it in to Lair. That trap, Stricker comes up with it, trying to get Lois Slayer out of her way so she can get out of there. A lot of contact there, no call. They're letting them play. And that should be off of West Central. It is. It's going to be Panthers ball. A minute 25 to go. Of course, here comes the pressure by the Trojans. Bunger going to check back in. <laughs> Shout out to my daughter and her husband and my two grandkids there watching at home in Milford. I'm doing the best I can, Maddie. I'm doing the best I can. Chucks it up ahead. And the turnover as Hathaway can't corral that long pass from McKaig. And the bucket is good for number 14, DeMoss. And that puts West Central back out in front by one. A 
And finally, we're going to get a foul call here. That's going to put Stricker at the free throw line, shooting two. That's going to be the third on Sharp. I'll put Stricker back at the free throw line with an opportunity here to put the Panthers back out in front if she can make them both. 57.5 to go. Good on the first. 50-50. And makes them both. The Panthers back in front by one. Under a minute to go here at the cage. Panthers need a defensive stop. Tipped away. Don't foul. Three-pointer on the way and it's good. That's Sharp, that's her second three here in the quarter. And a timeout called by West Central. 30 second timeout, so just like that. Panthers trailing by two, 53-51, 37.8 seconds to go. Twenty-one for McKenna Stricker. She has all of the Panthers' points here in this fourth period. A field goal and five free throws. Seven points here is all that the Pioneer has gotten in this uh, fourth quarter. So they find themselves trailing 53-51. And uh, West Central going to change up their uh, defense here. The little diamond press it looks like. See what the Panthers can do. McKeg, three-pointer from the wing. No good. Rebound fought for. Jump ball. And that will be West Central on the jump. So the Trojans get the ball back with 21.6 to go, leading by two. A little full court pressure here by the Panthers. And a foul on Stricker. That's only the third team foul, though, on Pioneer. Not shooting. That is her third. Team's third, so they got one more foul to give. And Layer is going to foul out. The lowest layer will foul out with 13.8 seconds to go. So West Central will trigger it here under their baseline. Mellon will inbounds it. So McKeg gets called for the foul, and DeMoss will go to the free throw line shooting two. She is one of two from the line here so far this evening. And puts that one in. Extends that lead to three. This is the big one here for DeMoss. Can make it a four point lead. And she does, converts on both. And we got a timeout here by Coach Mellon. Largest lead of the game by four points here for West Central, 55-51 with 12.3 seconds to go. It'll take a little bit of a miracle here if the Panthers can find a way. They're going to have to go down. You don't have to get a three. But you got to get a really quick bucket. You can't uh, you can't spend 10 seconds here. You got to get a quick bucket, and then you're just going to have to foul and take your chances. But they've got to get a quick bucket, and 
you know, they haven't had any. <laughs> Unfortunately, they haven't had any here in this quarter. One bucket, uh, one field goal by McKenna Stricker, and uh, that's it. So uh, either way, you know, win or lose this game, you got to give, uh, you know, take hats off. Got to move. Got to move, girls. Got to move. Can't just stand still. That's how you lose. And Stricker loses the ball, and uh, that's going to do it here as the clock's going to wind down to zero. The final score, West Central 55, the Panthers 51. Trojans come back from eight down at the end of three to pick up the win here at the cage. So congratulations to West Central. They're going to have their hands full. They move to 12 and 8 on the season. They will be facing the Caston Lady Comets on Tuesday over at South Newton. A little bit of a break here for Pioneer. They've had a really just busy stretch of uh, games, their third game in the week. And uh, they're going to get a break as they don't play again until Friday as they will await the winner of the quarterfinal round game over at North Miami and uh, take on either Winnemac or um, Wabash, whoever wins that game on Tuesday. Fall 55-51 to West Central here in a battle. Trojans outscore Pioneer 19-7 in the fourth quarter to overcome a eight-point lead by the Panthers at the end of the third quarter. And, uh, West Central advances their record to 12 and 8 on the season, and uh, uh, the Panthers will end their season with a 6 and 15 mark. Well, I don't know if you're still listening or not. My brother Scott and his wife Carrie were uh, watching out in Independence, Kansas, and I didn't know it. And I was supposed to have known that, I guess. So. Uh, I'm going to uh, give them a little late shout out here as uh, we get ready to do the post game here. See if we can get Coach Barry in. And uh, um, Hunter, you do me a favor. Will you go down to my wife and ask her if uh, she can round up the two seniors for us? Be great. So we're going to see if we can get the two seniors here if uh, Hunter doesn't trip himself down the stairs. I want to thank Hunter and Blake for helping out tonight. They're going to be over at North Miami next week helping us as well. Unofficially, turnovers 23 for the Panthers. Uh, just huge pressure by the West Central Trojans all night long. Uh, they had 18 of their own, so Pioneer did a nice job there. But uh, 23 turnovers. Um, is not going to win you a lot of ball games. Let's get the uh, scoring breakdown for you here for West Central. Brooklyn Mellon had three. Uh, Liza Allen had seven. Uh, Mara Sharp had ten. Madison DeMoss had 11. And leading the uh, West Central Trojans was uh, Bishop and Annika Smith with 12 each for West Central. The, uh, the Panthers scoring, uh, Lois Layer had one, Julia McGrew had two, Gracie Hopper had four, McKenna Stricker with 21, and Mia McKaig finished the night leading all scorers with 23 points. So uh, unfortunately the uh, Panthers fall here tonight, but uh, they got a little time to rest and recover before they get to uh, sectional play next Friday to take on either the um, Winnemac Warriors or the, they're going to need your headset, take on the Winnemac Warriors or the Wabash Apaches in. Uh, so, you know, you guys stand up there so they can get you on camera. Right there where Casey is. Casey, 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 look, look up here. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, okay. I can't. I can't talk to you if you don't put the headset <laughs> on. We'll do. We'll do you guys interview one at a time. So, uh, this is kind of a tradition that we have. So we interview the seniors on senior night. So, uh, Gracie, uh, both of you guys, uh, just you know, kudos for sticking this out. I mean, the whole thing kind of started in a 
bad way with the season starting the way it did and everything. And but uh, you guys stuck it out, and um, you know you you had some time there where you were out with an injury, but you came back and uh, you know really uh, brought that leadership to the team. So tell us a little bit about you know some of your thoughts from from your senior year. Well, it started off really rough, and well. With the coach quitting and then ending up with a new one and then another new one and a new JV coach all in one, it was really, really hard to like adjust to the change. And I mean, I think we did phenomenal at it and we were able to change defensive and um, offensive plays and we didn't really have any offensive plays. So it was just a change in atmosphere and everything with new coaches and um, especially with having new freshmen come in and they don't know anything about the old ways either. So it was, it was just a fun experience for my senior year. Yeah, a lot of, lot of uh, challenges for you guys, but I really like where you guys are at. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, gosh, you guys, you got a first round bye, so you don't have to go and play on Tuesday mm -hmm. at North Miami. Um, you know, and you never know. Wabash and, and Winnemac could beat the crap out of each other and, <laughs> and, and you know, uh, I think the one of one of the things that you know happened here tonight. I think they had a lot of fresher legs mm -hmm. at the end of the game, and, yeah. and they were just running girls in and out. But uh, you know, great job your senior year. You, you know, senior night. Just mm -hmm. uh, appreciate everything that you've done for this team. And, Thank you, uh, Casey. You want to put the headset on for a minute? Here you go. Oh, can we stand next to you? Yes. So I don't know if you, you you can see typical teenage girl there. She's got her phone not too far away, just in case it's needed. <laughs> it's already we already caught you. So uh, Casey, you know, kind of what we talked about with uh, with Gracie, you know, just the way the season started and everything like that. But uh, you know, you guys really worked and provided some great senior leadership. Tell us about you know your thoughts on your senior year here. Um, I think that our team has had to face a lot of adversity, but I think we've all did a good job and I'm proud of all of us because it's obviously not easy losing your head coach a couple weeks before the season starts, but I'm really proud of our team because I think that we bounced back pretty well from that and obviously it started off rough, but I think that throughout the season we've gotten better. So. Yeah. Um, you know, I was just really amazed because you guys go to Winmac on Tuesday and, and lose by 23 mm -hmm. and then uh, Wednesday night you guys go up to North Judson who just beat Winnemac by 10 last week and you guys get the win there uh, really strong performance here tonight unfortunately fall uh, short here at the end but I feel like you guys have have you know kind of been through the fire and you know I think maybe you've made it out on the other side and uh, do you feel like your team is closer now than you were at the beginning of the year? I do. I think that throughout the season, our chemistry has gotten a lot better. I mm -hmm. think at first it was rough because everybody was stressed. I mean, nothing was really stable, but mm -hmm. now that we've been with each other and I think that chemistry has gotten better, we've gotten better. So. Yeah. Uh, you know, they always ask you kind of your favorite moments. Uh, tell me your favorite moment of the season. Um, my favorite moment of the season. I don't really have one. There's too many good ones. I mean, I think pregame is always fun with all my friends and they're my freshmen. They're fun. So. Yeah. Um, but just being with the team, honestly, throughout mm -hmm. the season, it's gotten funner and just yeah. being around everyone. Yeah. I, I love it how <laughs> you guys, I've heard that term before, you know, the seniors, my freshmen. Mm -hmm. I yeah. love that. Gracie, uh, you want to give us a quick, uh, what was your favorite moment of the season? What was your favorite moment, Gracie? <laughs> uh, I don't really have a favorite moment. Um, like Casey said, the pregames are always fun because we're, I mean, we're not taking it too serious, but we're taking it serious, so it's still fun in the end. And, I mean, after games two, we're all just trying to boost each other up, so that's what I kind of like about this season is we're boosting each other up and we're not really trying to knock each other down anymore. Yeah. Like, it's – everything's just boosting each other up. And and you feel the same way, I'm sure, that uh, this team has gotten uh, a bond now that uh – you know, you've been through that fire. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the beginning of the year, it was a little rough, but we, as the year, the games went on and everything, and we could learn each other's patterns, it became stronger throughout the games. Yeah. So. Well, thank you, girls, for everything you've done for this team, and uh, you know, still got some more games to go. Yeah. So let's uh, let's go finish strong and let's see what we can do. You know, let's make mm -hmm. some noise over at North Miami. Yep. All right. Thanks, go girls. Go Panthers. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Oh, I might drink it. Malibu. <laughs> so Coach Barry joins us here. Uh, Coach, you know, 
I think ran out of legs there at the end. That fourth quarter really got them. And that pressure just, uh, you know, wore us down. I mean, they were running girls in and out. You know, I, I mentioned that at the beginning. I'm like, man, they are just running girls in. It's almost like a hockey line change. And that pressure, uh, I think it just kind of wore them down. You know, they outscore you 19 to 7. But you got to feel good about the game on Wednesday, the way you guys played tonight, going into sectional. It's, you got to make you feel pretty good about, you know, this team's starting to figure some things out. That's that's exactly what we told the girls um, in the locker room. We said, obviously, this one hurts. You know, we're leading all the way up until, what, the last minute and a half or so. Mm. Um, and uh, But it's cliche, but you want to be playing your best basketball going into sectionals, and I truly feel like we are playing our best basketball. You know, we get a huge win at North Judson. Um, you know, their only other conference loss was to Caston. Right. Um, so, I mean, that's that's motivation right there. Yeah. Um, and then what, our West Central is a quality opponent, um, and we held them to three points the first quarter. Yeah. Now, we knew we weren't going to hold them in check that much, um, but, you know, they, they ended up getting to their average. Um, but like I said, they, they, were, they were more fresh towards the end, and they, they could keep the pressure on. I was just hoping we could uh, maybe win this baby at the free throw line because we shot, I don't know exactly what we shot, but I felt like we shot overall pretty well from the free throw line. Yeah, I'd have to add up all the little circles and dots there. I haven't done that one yet. But uh, you got to feel really good. Uh, We didn't really get a chance to talk yet about that North Judson game. I mean, you come off of it. I mean, I'm still, you know, a little bit amazed about that because Tuesday night you go to Winnemac and you, you get beat by 23. Then you go to Judson the next night, the team that just beat Winnemac by 10, and you and you get the win. I mean, what did uh, what changed? And and uh, is there some kind of a light switch that you flipped, or how, how, what happened? It was a totally different team. Um, you know, we stressed patience against against North Judson, and you know, at the beginning of the season, of course, as a coach, you you want to be able to score in the 50s, 60s, 70s, but that's simply not our game. Yeah. Um, you know, we want to try to have it be a low possession game. Um, we want the game to be in the in the 30s, essentially, because mm-hmm. um, not too many teams are we simply just going to outscore. Um, and kind of proof tonight, we got into the 50s, right. and uh, they end up outscoring us. Yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, they stress patience on, on Wednesday. They work the ball, and we simply knock down shots. Mm-hmm. Um, looks that we've gotten throughout the year and finally knocked them down, and tonight we finally started knocking them down. And yeah. um, so, once again, that's, that's good to see. Um, Going into sectionals, obviously we have played both Wabash and Winnemac. Um, you know, I thought we played really well at Wabash, even though even though they beat us. But um, I feel like we are a lot better team. And even from Winnemac just this week, <laughs> yeah. we are a much better team. Right, right. Um, yeah, I would agree with that. Uh, talk a little bit about Mia McKaig. 17 points against Judson, 23 points tonight. I mean, <laughs> She uh, she's come to play the last couple games for sure. She has, and you know, coaching her through middle school, coaching her last year in JV, you knew she could shoot it. Um, and I know she probably um, doesn't like the her her, her three point numbers up to this point, but this past week she started knocking them down. Yeah. And um, she does a great job using her body, getting into the lane, and hitting those little floaters. And um, you know, those are her really high percentage shots. Um, but, you know, we always say, hey, those inside-out threes, you're going to knock down. And really towards the end of the game, she shot that ball in the corner in rhythm. You know, she's been hitting. Mm-hmm. I, mm-hmm. Great look. Yeah, it was. Um, and yeah. that would have what put us up by one, I think. So, yeah. you know, sometimes the ball just simply doesn't fall. Yeah. Um, but, you know, she's been playing great. Um, our leading rebounder, um, she she just understands angles. Yeah. And, uh, she, you know, she puts herself in position um, to succeed. Yeah. Well, it's, uh, you know, it's got to make you feel pretty good. You, you actually get some time now to rest. You don't have to go uh, over to North Miami on Tuesday, so you get to wait and see who wins that Wabash and Winnemac game. And you get a chance to actually maybe practice some, which is we we have yet to practice three days in a row. Yeah, I was going to say last <laughs> Once night games was the first have started. So first it, practice last night in how long? Uh, since last Wednesday. Yeah. Um, so uh, you know it's going to be new for the girls, kind of getting into a routine that we would like to have, you know, from the start. But just with scheduling and everything, just didn't work out. Yeah. Well, coach. Uh, 
senior night here, you know, you got a couple of uh, wonderful seniors. Any words to, uh, to tell about those two girls? Yeah, you know, Gracie obviously went down with an injury right before right before break, and you know, obviously since she's been back, you know, we've been playing better. You know, she just does things once again, rebounds well, just has that simple experience from um, success, some successful um, pioneer teams, and she does some great things for us. Um, and then Casey, you know, she's just a joy to be around. You know, mm-hmm. she brings a smile to your face. She gives it everything she has. She attacks the glass. Um, and, you know, it's just that player that you love having around. Yeah. Good uh, good pair of kids to have to, to lead your team. And, uh, you know, the, the comment they talked about, you know, they, they were talking about the freshmen, and they're like, my freshman. You know, <laughs> That's so, awesome. Yeah. So they, uh, they have possession of your freshman, <laughs> I guess. So um, if – We'll probably get to talk next Friday, but I wanted to, uh, you know, kind of reflective. Thank you again for what you've done this year. I know it was a huge sacrifice. Your son's sitting there waiting on you. I know you've got three (laughs) very active young boys that you had to probably miss some things this year. And I know how that is as a father, that you don't want to miss anything that your kids do. That's why I'm here. (laughs) And, uh, you know, just thank you and uh, Coach McWhorter for uh, stepping up and doing what you did for us this year here at Pioneer. It's been a great group. Um, you know, obviously you'd like some for the regular season you'd like some more wins. As a mm-hmm. competitor, you you always want some more wins. Yeah. Um, but you know, our <clears throat> job this year was to get you know, with two seniors that that's a good thing, right? Yeah. We're gonna miss those seniors, but that means there's a lot a lot of kids coming, coming back. through and mm-hmm. you know, our our main job was obviously obviously to compete for sectionals conference, but to simply get them better um for next year yeah. and uh, it's just been a joy to be around these girls yeah well we appreciate it and uh you know thanks and good luck uh next friday we'll be there Thank for you. uh for that one there against either wabash or winnemac on uh friday at north miami all right Looking we'll be to ready it. all right thanks coach barry appreciate it all right that's going to do it we're going to wrap it up here for our broadcast tonight thanks for uh helping out with uh commentary to hunter and uh thanks to blake for helping out on camera he I told him he could go, and he stuck around. So, uh, you know, these guys are they are in it to win it, I guess you could say. And uh, thanks to everybody for watching here. It's going to wrap it up for the uh, regular season here for the Lady Panthers. They fall here in the finale 55-51 to West Central.